Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're out on Lake Max and Cucky, which is in Culver, Indiana. Now Lake Max and Cucky is a big time smallmouth lake, big time tournament lake, but it's super cloudy, super cold out. So I decided to start in the channels. Let's see if we can't find some largemouth because smallmouth bass are notorious for not biting well in the cold and cloudy conditions. So here I'm in the channel trying to see if I can't scare up a large mouth or two. Let's see what happens. Boom. Look at that bad boy. Hey guys, what's up? Midday update for you. We've been out on Lake Max and Cucky in Culver, Indiana, and it is a tough day. We had loaded up for smallmouth to come out here. The main lake out there is really clear. You got a lot of really deep drops but that main lake is really blown out right now and the smallmouth really don't like to bite when it's overcast like this. So we came back into the channels, we fished through some channels, caught a nice fish, three, four pound class fish back here on a chatterbait. Right now I'm rigging up a lipless crankbait and I'm rigging up a heavier than normal lipless crankbait. Uh, and I call it the California trick. A lot of guys out west have figured out that you can fish a heavy rattle trap and yo-yo it off the bottom on those breaks and it will make lethargic fish react. So what I'm gonna try to do with this bait, I'm gonna go out and make long casts on the break and I'm gonna hop this bait along, almost like a blade bait. But what it's gonna do, if I can run into some smallmouth out there, one, it's gonna, it's gonna make them react. Two, it's a heavy bait that I can feel on the bottom, I can feel in the weeds. As I rip that out of the bottom weeds, as I rip that out, it's gonna flutter up, fall back down, and you got that nice rattle the whole time. So we're gonna re-rig here, we're gonna throw a swim bait, probably this LV500, see if we can't run into some fish out there on the brakes, because right now it is tough and we gotta figure something out. So now we've moved out to the deep flats, and what we're looking for here, and what I'm doing is I'm scanning around with my side sand sonar, I'm looking for patches of isolated grass. And every time I find a patch of isolated grass, you're gonna see here, I'm gonna catch a fish because what I'm doing is I'm dropping this drop shot right into that grass patch. I'm shaking that and hopping it out and the smallmouth are sitting with their bellies in those weeds, coming up and ambushing anything that is above their head in that grass patch. Smallmouth choked it. Let's see if we can't get a bigger one. So, as I'm fishing around these areas, I start to lock in on grass patches that are not huge, big runs of grass, but tiny little pockets. They're almost serving like secondary points. And every one of these I come to on the graph, I'm catching a fish. Starting to get dialed in on a pattern here.
Small mouth. Smallmouth, they're ambushing in this offshore grass. Hopefully I can start to find some bigger ones here, but I'm catching fish right now. Smallmouth at this time of the year are gonna bunch up because they wanna move in and spawn. So we've got this big old grass fly right here in about six, seven feet of water. And the sand is now where the fish are. The fish are on the clumps of grass around. So when I make a cast, I literally hit a clump of weeds and catch one. Another weed bed, another fish. Look at that, nice eye. Nice small mouth. Got a baby. Getting better. and a fish. That's why the fish are in the weed beds.
bait right there. That's why those fish are in those weed beds. They're eating perch. So after this, it just starts raining and it's gonna be a set in long rain. Even though I was catching fish, I wasn't about to stand there in 30 degree temps and have it just pour on me the rest of the day. So what do we learn? One, always, always, always be watching and paying attention to little fine details. Two, you can always have a plan, but don't be afraid to adjust on the fly. Three, catching fish is fun. Even though they were small fish, I had a blast. Got a lot of stuff that I learned. So if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. We'll catch you guys next time. See you later.